Hey, where did they bury the old lady who used to live there? Buried? She ain't muerta. They moved her to Mulhern's. What the fuck is Mulhern's? Our book 4 started on a good note even though I saw people's comment about the fact that it was slow for them. Well, the same thing happened when Power Book 2 Go started, so I'm sure people will get used to it very soon. If you ask me, my expectations were met, which is character build-up and transition from where we last saw Tommy. Now, before I go further, I want you to pay attention to something. When Tommy was driving, something strange happened. He was having lots of reflections from the past until he got to Lakeisha. When he got to Lakeisha, his mood suddenly changed. He was pained and he increased acceleration. Then he turned off all his lights as if he was giving up and ready to crash himself to death. But when he remembered Ghost, he quickly turned his lights back on. That was when he applied full break and saved himself. Now, I like to pay attention to details and I believe there is always a reason every scene is created as it appears to us. Now, let me know if you think this is significant clue in relation to Ghost. I know it's too early to start adding ghost myth to book 4, but there is a reason why the thought of ghost made him turn his lights back on. In this video, I'll be giving you a general overview of episode 1, why Tommy actually passed Chicago and why he decided not to go back to California as planned. I'll also touch on the flame family and the conflict that is ahead of Tommy and Tommy's stepbrother. And of course, if you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now let's get straight into business. If you remember Jason in power and the time Ghost and Tommy were on each other's neck, Jason introduced this guy called Rodolfo Ramirez to Tommy as his LA distro. Tommy, Rodolfo Ramirez. As you know, I'm looking toward expansion in the LA market. I may send you out to SoCal to work with Rodolfo. When all things seemed to end in power, Tommy told Kate he was leaving New York to California to start a new business with Rodolfo. I'm feeling LA actually. Who the fuck do you know in California? Oh, there's this guy, Rodolfo. My connect made the intro. He's got a whole network out there. Now, that was the main reason for Tommy's journey. I expected reflections from Tommy on his way to California and this was something the writers didn't hesitate to establish as well. Now, Tommy was in Chicago for one reason only which is to locate where his maternal grandmother was buried so that he can put some flowers on her grave. Those are the flowers he was keeping on the passenger seat and that was why he asked this guy where they buried the old lady who used to live there since that was what Kate told him that she was dead. To Tommy's surprise, she wasn't dead but rather sick and she looked more like she was having dementia. Now, Tommy after seeing that his grandmother is still alive, dashed out to clear his head about the whole thing and ended up meeting a sexy bartender and clashing with the son of one of the biggest kingpin in Chicago. Now, Rodolfo kept calling Tommy to ascertain where he has reached. This means that Tommy was not planning to stay in Chicago. If you notice, Tommy hasn't even mentioned his name to anyone apart from his grandmother, not even the bartender he slept with. Now, as a troublemaker, Tommy bumped into this Simon guy talking about product and money tonight. He took his revenge for calling him Larry Bird beat him and took his phone to meet whoever was calling him. Now, this was Tommy's first problem. As adventurous as Tommy is, he pulled up on Vic to show him his connect. Eventually, Tommy saved the night and got some money and product forcefully. After knowing some information about the flames and the CBIs, he made his own research to know exactly the kind of people in the game. Now, Tommy wanted to say goodbye to his grandmother and bounce to California. But after she recognized him for like 3 seconds, Tommy realized her condition is worse. Hence, there is no way there can be any relationship. As Tommy was leaving, here comes his unknown stepbrother. The funny thing is, they both discovered they were lied to their entire life. Now, for those of you who are confused as to why Tommy has a black stepbrother, Kate was dancing from bar to bar and that was how she even met Teresi. And I'm sure when she got pregnant with Tommy, she ran away with him. That's why the brother didn't even know anything about Tommy. Now, Teresi is not his brother's father. Tommy's stepbrother is black because his father is definitely black. So in this case, they have the same mother 
and different fathers. But I must admit the matching of Tommy and his brother was a great casting from the producers. The similarity is on point in spite of their race. But funny enough, Tommy didn't even mention his name to his brother too. But he took his number just in case. Then he got pulled over by Flynn's goons. After meeting the almighty Walter Flynn, Tommy was asked to leave town for his own good, which he was ready to do so. He foiled his car, tried throwing his brother's number away but took it back, then he set off. Now on his way, Tommy was having some mixed feelings. One, he just found his grandmother here and his mysterious brother as well. It is like he has enough here as a family than going to California where he has no blood relation. Plus Rodolfo keep buzzing his phone, then he decided not to even go to the California anymore. I think I'm gonna stay here, build my own shit. I'm my own boss now. Now, I believe this decision from Tommy will make him join allies with the CBI crews since Flynn's already exhibit dislike for him even though he saved Victor. Now, moving on, with the Flynn family, we will be seeing some similar Tahara family situation here where Claudia is more like Kane who wants to overstep their boundaries and Victor is like Drew to Lorenzo. And I'm sure we are going to be seeing more internal family conflict and intercomp conflicts. And I'm also sure Tommy's brother is going to serve as a helping hand to Tommy since he is family. Now, I want you to take notice of this. Tommy will have a problem with Victor over this bartender. Not only that, but when Tommy and the bartender's relationship goes deeper after some episodes, Victor will not be the only problem to Tommy, but the bartender's husband will come back home suddenly from nowhere. And this is where I project a bigger conflict just like how Mecca popped out out of nowhere back into Monet's life. And like the bartender said, her husband went away and never came back. My husband, he deployed, never came back. This doesn't mean he is dead or won't ever come back. So remember this and expect another dangerous guy along the way as part of the conflict in Power Book 4. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section about everything that happened in Power Book 4 episode 1 so far. If you like this video kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.